Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and welcome to the wonderful world of Page Layout, here in Dorico, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. In this series, you will learn all about the extensive page layout features of Dorico, how to use the Pages and Master Pages panel, how to create rich headers complete with graphics that can appear automatically at the beginning of every flow in your project. You'll become acquainted with frame chains, which allow music to flow from one frame to the next. And I'll be showing you how to go about creating worksheets and some more advanced layouts, such as piano duet music, where the left and right-handed pages are dedicated to the different players. At the heart of Dorico's page layout system are master pages. Put simply, Master pages are templates that give rise to the default format of the pages in your layouts. The result is consistently formatted pages throughout your project, where you can make an edit in one place and see the effect instantly across all parts in your score. Master pages can contain music, text, and graphics frames, and the music frames can be chained together so that the music will flow through the frames from one page to the next. All master pages contain a left-handed page and a right-handed page, because when you come to apply them to a layout page, that page may end up on the left or the right, and you need the flexibility to draw certain items, such as page numbers, in different locations depending on whether they are left or right-handers. If you are editing a master page, do remember that you need to make the changes to both pages in the master page pair. Otherwise, you may find that your desired modifications will not be used as you expect in the layout. To help make this easier, these buttons on the master page editor toolbar copy the layout of the master page from the left to the right, or vice versa. When you start a new project, Dorico will automatically set up two master page pairs for you. These are called first and default. The first master page is used at the start of every new flow. This means that it will be the master page used on page one of your layouts. The default master page is then what is used to accommodate subsequent pages of music in your layout. When Dorico comes across a new flow, it will use the first master page again, and then continue on using the default master page. The way this works is that both the first and default master pages contain music frames that are assigned the same frame chain. The frame chain ID is found next to the chain icon at the top left of selected frames. So if there's more music to display, Dorico will automatically create new pages based on one of these two master pages to draw it on. If you're trying to create a very custom layout and do not want Dorico to automatically create pages and draw the rest of your music, then you can delete the music frames from the master pages and just create them manually on your layout pages. The layout of master pages, what frames they include and where they are positioned, is totally editable, so you can configure them to make sweeping changes across your layouts. And what's more, Dorico provides a different set of master pages for your instrumental parts to that of the full score, so you can tailor the format of each independently. You can even create new master page sets for your own specific uses. You can tell which master page pair a page in a layout is using by clicking on the page thumbnail in the Pages panel. The master page it uses is shaded green in the Master Pages panel. And if you want a page to use a different master page than the one Dorico has assigned automatically, you can do that in the Pages panel, and I shall be covering that in a video later in the series. You're not locked to only using the layouts of master pages, however. Once you have enabled frame editing by clicking on the switch at the top of the frames section, you can override the master page directly in your layout by making changes to the existing frames or inserting new ones. You can tell that a page is overriding its master page by the red corner on its thumbnail here in the pages panel, 
and any more changes now made to the master page will not show up in this overridden layout page. You can always remove any overrides to get you back to the master page layout. Finally, you can also insert new pages, either without applying a master page in order to create blank pages, or using any of your existing master pages. If you found this video helpful, please click on the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it, and subscribe to our Dorico channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.